What is up and welcome back to Viral Ed where we create the best educational content on the planet. Don't forget to share our videos on social media, whether that be Facebook or YouTube. And most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Today we are looking at fractions. More importantly, the steps involved in adding and subtracting. But why are fractions important? They tell you what portion of a whole you need, have or want. Fractions are used in both baking and telling the time. You might need half a cup of flour to make your pancakes or need to leave for your friend's house in a quarter of an hour. Let's start to look at some terminology that is going to help us solve some problems further in the video. Fractions consist of a numerator, the top number, and the denominator, the bottom number. The numerator shows the number of parts indicated by the denominator, denominator that we are taking. So if we have one over eight, we are taking one part from the eight. If you look at the pizza, we are taking one slice from the eight slices that are in the pizza. Whereas two over eight, we are taking two parts from the eight and therefore taking two pieces of pizza. Now that we have an understanding of the terminology, we can look at the steps involved in adding a fraction. When adding a fraction, we need to make sure the fractions are alike, which means that their denominators are the same. If they are, we can immediately start to add the numerators together, but do not add the denominators. Once we have added the two fractions together, we are then able to simplify the fraction if possible. For example, if we have one over four plus two over four, if we go through the three steps, we make sure the fractions are alike, we add the numerators together but not the denominators, and simplify the fraction if possible. So with one over four plus two over four, the denominators are the same, and therefore the fraction is alike. Now we can add the numerators together, which leaves us with three over four. This fraction can't be simplified, so the final answer is three over four. If we look at a more complex problem, say we're given three over eight plus two over 16, the denominators aren't the same, so the fraction isn't alike. To make it alike, we need to find a lowest common multiple of the two denominators. In this case, 16 is the lowest, as eight and 16 both go into 16. So to get eight to 16, we need to times it by two. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. So the first fraction is now six over 16, and this means the two fractions are now alike. We can now add the two fractions together. By adding the numerators together, this leaves us with eight over 16. These fractions can be simplified as the denominator is a multiple of the numerator. If we divide the top and bottom by eight, we are left with one over two. Therefore, the simplified fraction of eight over 16 is one over two. Both these fractions mean the same thing. If you take eight parts from 16, you are taking half of the parts, which is represented by one over two. Next, we are going to look at subtracting, which is very similar to adding fractions and uses the exact same terminology and steps. Let's look at some examples straight away. If we have four over five, take two over five. We can go back to the steps to help us solve this problem. The denominators are the same, so the fraction is alike. Instead of adding, we are going to subtract the numerators from each other, but not the denominators, leaving us with two over five. This fraction cannot be simplified, so the final answer is two over five. If we look at the more complex problem like we did with adding fractions, we have three over six, take four over 24. The denominators aren't the same, so the fraction isn't alike. We need to find the lowest common multiple for both six and 24. In this case, it is 24, as six and 24 both go into 24. To get the denominators the same, we need to multiply six by four, and whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. So we are left with 12 over 24 for the first fraction. Now that the fractions are alike, we are able to subtract the fractions and are left with eight over 24. This fraction can be simplified as there is a common multiple for both the numerator and denominator. If we divide both by eight, you are left with one over three, and therefore our final answer is one over three. So a quick summary, fractions are useful skills to know throughout your life and is used in everyday activities such as time and baking. There is three steps to solving both adding and subtracting fractions. 
Uh, you identify the new denominator and whether the fraction is alike. Uh, add or subtract the numerator and not the denominator. And lastly, simplify the fraction if needed. If the denominators aren't the same, the first step is to find the lowest common multiple so you are able to make the fractions alike. I hope that this video helped further increase your understanding of fractions and most importantly, how to add and subtract them. As always, I haven't been able to explain every little detail in this video without making the video longer than 10 minutes. So if we have any questions, put a comment in the comment section or continue to research other videos and techniques. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget if you like the video to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and check out the other videos on this channel. Other than that, have an awesome day and I will see you next video.